<sighs> How about Little Red Riding Pants? Seriously? <laughs> what? You surely must know this story, Grandpa. I do. It's Little Red Riding Pants. <laughs> no, it's Little Red Riding Hood. That's just silly. Who would need a hood when you're riding a horse? Who said anything about a horse? She needs her hood in the forest. It's chilly. I'm sticking to my title. It makes more sense. Nothing about your fairy tales makes sense. They're bonkers. Well, if you don't like the way I tell my stories, you could always just go to bed. Did he say bonkers? He meant brilliant. Uh -uh. That's what I thought. Twice upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Pants. <laughs> What a wonderful day for a ride through the forest. Where's your horse? You don't see it. No. Then use your imagination. I'm trying, but it's hard. Can't you use a large puppet or special effects or something? Sorry, kid. The stagemen said we don't really have that kind of budget. <laughs> It was a very beautiful day, and Little Red was on the way to see her grandpa. Aunt Grandpa's the best. Of course you put that in your story. <laughs> Little Red Riding Pants was excited to bring her grandpa a special treat. Shoot! I knew I forgot something. You're a lifesaver. Nice. Not too shabby. Billy Cheesesteak, Grandpa's favorite. Oh, come on. I'm sorry. I'm hungry, and a Billy Cheesesteak sounds really good right now. I get it. I really do. Billy Cheesesteaks are awesome. But just this once, can we stick to the story and have Little Red Riding Pants bring her grandpa some sweets? Fine. Like I said, Little Red loved her grandpa very much. It was excited to bring him a special treat. My favorite, a Winky. A Winky. Isn't that called a Winky? No, 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 no. Yes, it looks an awful lot like a handheld sponge cake trademark dessert. Well, I can assure you, what Little Red is holding is in fact a Winky. I get it. I don't get it. Wait, did they make that there? Why wouldn't he be? Because he's not in this story. <laughs> You know, this Winky is a tasty and convenient dessert while affordable to produce. This golden tube of yum might just be a gold mine. Did somebody say gold mine? A big bad bear can be motivated by more than just the smell of bacon. Hi, Mr. Big Bad Bear. What you got there? Nothing. Didn't look like nothing to me. It's just my dessert. Do you have any spare? I uh, just finished dinner with a love some dessert. I'm not sure. Let me check. Little Red did not want to share her dessert. Because this recipe was a win. She just knew it. She was going to pitch the product to the CEO of the Mass Market Baked Goods Company. Hey. What did you have for dinner, Mr. Big Bad Bear? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Why do you ask? <laughs> you, you have a little something on, on your face. Just there. Bite. Bite by your mouth. My goodness, I'm such a pig. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like a pig. It kind of looks like a lock of golden hair. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Come to think of it, I haven't seen Goldilocks around lately. What did you do? Uh, don't worry, kids. Goldilocks is just fine. That's me, Goldilocks. That was quite the country fighting you did back there. Thanks, but with all the huffing and puffing the big bad bear did, he got a piece of my hair stuck in his mouth. Yuck. Ew. Come back, Sage. I'll show you if you can wash your hair. So, are you going to show your dessert or not? No, I'm not. 
I have big plans for this detective of mine. Big plans, I tell you. What are these uh, big plans? I am a great listener. <laughs> what am I supposed to be looking at? My ears. What about them? Aren't they big? No. Then average size varies to me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just take a look at these bad boys. <laughs> Wait, what? Furry is you have? Not furry, big. Big enough to hear about all your secrets with that big plan of yours. I'm good. Wait, you have to tell me what's in the basket. I'm not sure I can trust you. Oh, you can trust me. I'm the most trustworthy bear in the forest. You can see in my eyes. See? <laughs> um, no, I can't see anything in those tiny, beady eyes of yours. Someone over here, okay? Thanks. How was that? <laughs> Honestly? That's hilarious. Wait, you have to tell me what's in the basket of you. Oh, <coughs> what? Or you're gonna get a much closer look at my teeth. Roar! <laughs> What bad breath you have? Oh. <laughs> Open up. All better. Thanks, Stella. But the big bad bear would not be turned. I wasn't kidding about my teeth, you know. <sighs> You're not gonna let this one go, are you? Nope. Fine. This is a secret family recipe. It's called a Winky and it's the greatest thing. Let me see that. <laughs> Once you get past the overly processed chemical taste, it's quick. I couldn't agree more. It's <laughs> a good idea. Do you need a business partner by chance? Well, I was going to take them to my grandpa as a special treat, but instead, I think I'm going to pitch it to the CEO of a mass market baked goods company instead. That's genius. Say, uh, do you need a business partner for chance? <laughs> no thanks. Wait, remember the tea thing? Do you need a business partner for chance? I got one. Great. Mommy. Now where can we find him? Mm -mm. Oh. Then who are you? I'm Tony, one of the stage hands. Then why are you following me taking notes? You started barking directions at me backstage. I didn't know what else to do. I see. Well, since you're already here, you might as well keep taking notes. Actually, I have a lot to do backstage. Are you talking back to me, Tony? The stage hands? No, little Betty. That's what I thought. Oh, I like this guy. Yeah. What is it you'd like to talk to me about? I have this new snack cake you just have to try. Do you know how often I hear that? Probably a lot, but this one's different, I promise. What makes you so sure? Well, because it's a secret family recipe. Well, in that case. Really? No! <laughs> Everyone always says your cake recipe is great because it's a secret family recipe. Well, guess what? You're gonna have to do a lot more than that to convince me. How about this? If you don't take a bite of that snack cake right this minute, I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Well, what do you know? I'm convinced. <laughs> wow! Once you get past the overly processed chemical taste, 
It's quite good. That's what I said. Now, what'd you say your name was? Little Red Riding Pants. What? No, no. Little Red. I think we got ourselves a deal. Really? That's great. Thanks, little Denny. Now, why don't you come back to my office and Debbie here will get you help with the paperwork starting. Uh -huh. And why don't you get Little Red Jack or something? It's quite chilly today. And a girl like her shouldn't be out in the forest without something to keep her warm. Will this work? A red hoodie? <laughs> Works for me.